right guys, let's get this thing started. How many conversations do we need to get to get two appointments? We need at least 50 conversations. That's not 50 doors knocked, that's 50 conversations. We need more of about 150 doors knocked today. Time to get out there and get this bag. Red Snapper's gonna be out there today. If you wanna get on the doors with this guy, I suggest you guys drop your location and send it to him. He's gonna drop you a lot of nuggets out there. He's gonna show you how to be indifferent on the doors. He's gonna show you how to make this shit fun. Our job is to get out there and knock these doors, but we got to make it fun. If you're not cracking jokes and you're not doing things to make this thing fun, you are killing yourself. That's all it takes. And inside you're gonna say, well, if, maybe if I act a little silly or I, I joke around a little bit, maybe they're not gonna listen to me. Like, no, that's when they're gonna listen to you. You, you are now a human being because you were a little bit indifferent. So crack jokes, man, what's the worst that's gonna happen? You crack a joke, you make them smile, they, say, they tell you they're not interested, we hear that all day. At least you got a smile, you didn't bring that, that brick to the next door. There ain't no sitting at the park, there ain't no hanging out, I'm chilling. Like, dude, you knock doors for a living. Get good at it. The only way to get good at it is be repetitious. Door after door after door after door. Knock after knock after knock. No after no after no until you find your yeses. It only takes one yes. We will say you get paid for no's. Absolutely. Every time someone says no, thanks man. One step closer to my yes. Will, you wanna finish this off for us? You heard Dan say it, just talking about how you gotta like work on the craft, right? You have to become an expert at it. It doesn't happen right away. You do have to put in work. We have the tracks for us. Now we just have to trailblaze through that, bring people with us. But guys, like the, the day is today. Um, nothing else matters. See it in your head and then let's go to work. You gotta bridge that gap and that gap needs to be bridged by taking the most amount of action with the most amount of intensity, with the most amount of passion, skill set, work ethic and, and conviction that you guys literally could go knock that door, not even know shit about solar, but still get the appointment because you have the conviction that it's right for the homeowner to sit with the solar specialist. And when they sit with the solar specialist, they're gonna, they're gonna go solar because it makes sense. Is there any questions? Or are you guys ready to go to war? Ready to go to war. Let's go to war. Let's go to war. Let's go to hood. All right, guys, we're on day six of our season two Anchors Blitz. We had a great morning with the Leprechauns. Dan, the solar man, always brings the heat. So now we're gonna get on the doors here with JD, Jordan Douglas. Super stoked to show the industry why we're the number one solar salesman in America. All right, guys, this is Jordan Douglas. We're calling him JD. A lot of people call you JD? Oh, yeah. How's it been going so far? Good, man. Almost got an appointment earlier a little bit ago. Just uh, she was trying to wait for some of the neighbors, actually. That's what Mary said too, but what she found out was that we're only gonna be able to help out like 15% of the homeowners out here. So you wanna make sure that we get you on the list before it's too late, otherwise you guys won't be able to go solar. That's a good call. How's it going, sir? Hey, I'll make this super quick. I don't wanna waste any of your time. Uh, my name is Will, I'm with Lumio, this is JD. I was curious if anybody from our company's come by to follow up with you guys about the projects going on in the neighborhood. Was 300 your highest bill? 300's been my highest bill. Okay. Yeah. It's actually kind of cool. All we would do, Mike, is just plug in your kilowatt usage into our computer. Um, if you're busy now, we could always have another solar specialist come by, but it takes about 10, 15 minutes. All we would do is just show you what the roof would look like, have our engineers put that together. All we need is a kilowatt usage, and then we could show you like where the rates are going, because just like gas prices, imagine if you could have gotten the gas locked in at a dollar a gallon, you'd have done it, now they're paying $4 a gallon, right? So the state, they either dangle the carrot or they kick you with the stick, and the stick is that taxation. So you're gonna pay it regardless, it's just do you wanna put it into their pocket or do you wanna put it into your pocket? So they've made it make sense logically in every single way, it's just a matter of is this house awesome or is it crappy for solar? Which I think it looks awesome, I think it'd be a great fit, and that's kind of the goal, you own your house, you own your truck, you own your guns, and now you can own your power. And then all we would do is that that kilowatt that kilowatt usage. Do you yeah. do you have a paper copy later on? Of uh, of the utility bill? bill? Yeah. Yeah. You grab that real quick. So if you look at the back of this, that's what we're looking for right there. You see that TD uh, that TDU charge? Mm. They literally charged you thirty almost thirty four dollars just to deliver the power to your home. Yeah. And so when you go solar, you completely eliminate that. And instead of you be pulling from the grid, now you push back to the grid. So well, about said out there, he put uh, he's got of course he's got a big hole. He built a big home out in the country on twenty five acres, and he's got a huge shop. Mm -hmm. Well, he put all this solar on top of his shop. He's got money. I don't. Sure. Okay? Yeah. And that's what our retired customers love about it is that you're going to pay the electric bill, 
I used to pay something less, but you own it. 11.30? Cool. Let me shoot you a text here with my digital business card. Okay. And then if you do want to reschedule, because something comes up, just let us know. We run a day based on our, our, our appointments. You know, we usually have like five or six a day. You'll love it though. And then you'll either say yes or you'll say no. I hope it goes good with the ear and we'll see you on, uh, on Thursday, 11.30, okay? All right, guys, I'm putting that appointment here in the timeshare with JD. That was an incredible appointment. The guy was like, hey, I'm, I'm busy. I gotta go get this cancer out of my ear. Um, but it's like, we just let him know like, hey, this is what's going on real quick. We can always come back tomorrow or Thursday. And so I think just we built the pain. You know, he already knew about solar. His son has it. He's got a lot of solar in the neighborhood, but we just said, hey, you know, we know the rates are going up. That's awesome that you got locked in, but we can get you locked in for an even better rate, buy you out of that contract. Again, even if it was more than what you're paying for electricity, you would still be winning because you're not putting that money into a liability. You're putting that money into an asset. But the good news is we're going to try to make it less for you so that you're saving money on month one. But the biggest thing is that it's not about the month one savings. It's about the fact that you're going to save a ton of money over the course of the next 20 years. So whether you pass that down to your family or you sell the house, you're just going to sell your house for a lot more. And it's a win, win, win all around. You know, they've made it make sense logically in every single way. It's just a matter of, is this house awesome or is it crappy for solar? So we'll do some work on our end. We'll have our engineers take about two hours, to put together the designs, put together your federal tax credit and all your numbers. We'll come back, we'll show it to you. You'll either say yes or you'll say no, but hopefully you say yes and you love it. Oh, guys, we got the solar stash. What's going on, brother? How you doing? There, there's a lot of opportunity here. Yep. Sounds like people are coming through here once a week, but I mean, hey, I haven't knocked them yet, so. Yeah, exactly. Let's get it, bro. Let's get it. I'm excited. We got four solid, five solid houses here right here, bro. They look like they're all home. So let's go and get our first one, bro. What do you say when they say they're? Oh, so sorry, I have hey. three babies here right now. Oh, sorry for waking up. I'll make. I get. It. I'll make this super, super quick. I don't want to waste okay. any time. They're almost. They're on the couch. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Man, you look familiar. I'll make this super quick. I don't want to waste any of your time. I'm Will. I'm with Lumio. Uh, hopefully, hopefully you're having a good day. The company's called Lumio. I was curious if anybody from our company has come by yet to follow up with you about the projects going on in the neighborhood. What are you selling? Yes, sir. We're not selling nothing. It's a little bit different than that. So what's going on is it's on the net metering program. I'm sure you saw it on the news with the president a couple weeks ago. He, he signed it into legislation. It's the new Green Deal. I don't have a f***ing thing to do with anything that Biden is pushing. No, I'm with you. And that's where it's well, like both, both presidents signed off on this. It was actually Trump that started it. And so both sides are on it. So it doesn't matter who's president, they both signed off on it. And so I don't know about you, but there's nothing more Amer non-American than not having control of your power. So what it is, is you can either take that $20,000 that they're given and put that into your house, or you can pay the $20,000 for them taxing coal, oil, and fossil fuels. No, I'm totally with you, yeah. I, I have nothing to do with it. And to be honest with you, I don't even sit down with Democrats. Like, I won't even talk to you if you're a Democrat. Like, you've gotta be a Republican, oh, really? otherwise I won't waste my time. Oh, yeah, I so see. it's super simple. All we're doing is looking at your kilowatt usage from there. We be able to determine how many panels that you would need. The roof, do you know about how long you've you've uh, you've had it since it was replaced? So your electric company, is that something uh, that you get like the utility bill on the phone or do you have it like a paper copy? Do you have a paper copy? What was your name too, by the way? Cordova. Cordova, I'm William, nice to meet you. So Cordova, all we would do is we would look at that, we would send that to our engineers, they would do some work on their end to make sure that it's a good roof, it's not a crappy roof, it's an awesome house for solar. And if it is, then we would put together that for you, take about 15 minutes just to show you what it looks like, yeah. show you the federal tax credit, show you the numbers. All you do, a lot of people think you pay all this money out of pocket, it's as simple as this, you stop paying that electric bill, and then you start with a, sol a, slow, a, a lower solar payment. I but it's. No, I know, and it's a little bit more selective than that. We'd have to make sure the house is a good fit, but what's what's holding you back? Is it the wife or what's what's going on? But the best part is that instead of you putting that money into a liability, you're gonna be putting that money into an asset. Instead of being a consumer of power, you're gonna be a producer of power. And when you produce excess credits, they call it net metering, you get a negative bill. Have you ever seen a negative bill before? No. Exactly. You're a pretty good salesman, I guess, and you're gonna see them damn things all over the place. Yeah. And. Uh, by that time, I'll be gone. Yeah. I won't have to put up with it. And uh, who's going to get the house after you, well, you move out? So your son yeah, will save $100,000 over the course of the next 20 years. And so if this is something where you do not pay a penny out of pocket to be able to put an extra $100,000 in your son's retirement for when he retires, would you take a look at that? Maybe. Maybe. That was solid. I definitely see where they were getting the pushback and just being able to kind of 
weave in between all those uh, objections was really, really interesting to see. Hey, how's it going? Hey, I'll make this super quick. I don't want to waste any of your time. I'm Will, I'm with Lumio. I don't know if anybody from our company has come by to follow up with you guys about the new projects going on in the neighborhood. So again, we actually got to go. Um, so I just want to stop by and introduce ourselves. Um, I'm Will, I'm with Lumio. So what's going on is we were doing a couple of projects here like four or five months ago and all the all of our customers are loving it and so we've been getting a lot more people calling us in this neighborhood because they see that their utility bills are going up tremendously. I noticed your house is perfect for the program. How's it going, sir? Yeah, you got some alarm dogs, huh? They call me the camel crusher. I'm just joking. <laughs> Have any of our guys come by to follow up with you guys yet about the projects going on? Hello, how are you doing today? Hey, I'll make this super quick. I don't want to waste any of your time. Uh, my name is William. We're with Lumio. Sir, I have no idea what you're saying. I have a hearing deficiency. I got gotcha. you. So my, my name is William. I'm with Lumio. Have any of your guys come by to follow up with you about the projects going on in your neighborhood? Have I ever been asked about what? Have you? Have, has anybody from our company come by to talk to you yet about the projects in your neighborhood? I have no idea what you're saying, sir. You don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> do you? Do you do sign language? Yeah, I'm William and we're working with your neighbors because yeah. they're putting solar panels on their house. Okay. And so a lot of your neighbors have been calling us because their electricity bill is going up tremendously. Oh no. Hey, sorry for letting off the alarm dogs. Yeah, How are you? I know it. How you doing today? What utilities we have, hon? What? What utilities do we have? Is it TXU, Reliant, Direct Energy? There's so many under the umbrella of Encore and Centerpoint. But what's going on is I'm sure you saw it on the news a couple weeks ago. You know, these guys, we just helped them out, 10 kilowatt system. So we got them from 183 a month to 166. But as you can see, as the rates are continuing to skyrocket, it stays the same with solar. And then there's an end date. We got a utility bill yet? Have we gotten a utility bill yet? She said, just go away. I don't want to go away. I want to help him out, but it is what it is. It's not for everybody. <laughs> I'm sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> don't put that frowny face on me. I didn't do it. I get it. Happy wife, happy life. But what's holding her, what's, what's holding her back? Hey, some do, some don't. So what? I get it. Happy wife, happy life. But maybe maybe that'd be a good go back for when uh, she's not there. You can go back there, show them how it really works, you know? On to the next door. Guys, I'm excited for you to see Logan go out here and be an absolute stud, top producer on the Leprechaun's Blitz. What was uh, some biggest takeaways that you had out here, bro, and uh, what's your goal for the rest of the day? Well, definitely pushing through, making sure that I'm not just taking no for an answer right off the bat, at least trying to figure out why they're saying no. Loomy bros! Let's get it, bro. All right, guys, you remember meeting Mustafa on, like, what was that, bro, season eight? Bro, you're on your, like, fourth or fifth, fifth blitz now, yeah. right? How's it been going for you the last couple of blitzes? It's been, it's been going pretty good. After knocking with you, I, I keep telling everyone, it definitely changed my game 100%. I got five sun docks that all went to roof, so, yeah. Hello, how are you doing today? Sorry for bugging you, we'll make this super quick. Uh, I'm Will, I'm with Lumi. I was just curious if anybody from our uh, company has come by to follow up with you guys about the projects going on in the neighborhood. So our job's super simple. All we do is look at the kilowatt usage on you in the bottom left of your utility bill. We'd be able to determine how many panels you guys would need. No, for sure. Yeah, I wanna make sure that both decision makers are there. Have you guys had a pretty high utility bill this summer? Or was it, how bad was it? The utility bill, is that like a paper copy or do you get it in the mail? or on the, on, the, on the email, on the email. So all we would do is just take a picture of that kilowatt usage. Mm -hmm. Kind of looks like that right there. Yes, I found it. Yep. What was your name too? It's Heather. Heather, nice to meet you, I'm William. So you wanna do three o'clock on Thursday? Yeah, that'll work. Cool, again, you'll love it, and then you either say yes or no, and then uh, we'll go from there, okay? All right. Cool, nice to meet you. We'll see you on Thursday, okay? Hello. Hello, sir, how you doing today? Hey, go Bears. So we've been getting a lot of, let me get that slick right there. We've been getting a lot of phone calls from the neighbors. They've noticed a tremendous increase in their utility bills with like distribution no, charges and delivery fees. You're all set. No, I totally get it. That literally has nothing to do with why we're here. It's it's because of the new law. You have a fire pitch after getting that, I mean, and just learning everything that I can on YouTube and everything, just combining everything that I can together and make my own style. A lot of people think it's what you say. At the end of the day, it's like they say, it's a transfer of energy and then it's a numbers game on top of that. So you need to knock as many doors as you can to get as many bills, to get as many appointments, to get as many deals. Loomy Bros. Bros.